Got some breaking news from college football. Alabama coach Nick Saban is retiring. That's coming from multiple reports. Saban won six national titles in 17 seasons in Tuscaloosa, closing the books on one of the most successful runs in college football history, including his 2003 title at LSU. Saban's seven championships are an all-time record, eclipsing the great Bear Bryant, the next closest to Saban, with six. I'm Tommy Tran. We'll also be joined by Amanda Guerra. Our Dennis Dodd joining us right now in HQ Spotlight. So, Dennis, what are your first reactions? What are your first thoughts here of learning the news that Nick Saban calling it a career at Alabama? Well, we've seen the end, Tommy, of the end of the career of the greatest team sport, uh, greatest coach in team sports of all time. I remember writing that column about five years ago, you know, before he'd won his last two or three titles. And it's going to go down as, as his number one legacy. Um, Bill Belichick in the NFL and Nick Saban in college. And not only college, I would submit all of amateur sports. Um, we can talk about J John Wooden, that was a different time. UCLA had a, had a uh, death lock on college basketball. Alabama had never been more, more diverse. There had never been more parity in college football when he came in. In, uh, in 2007. So I, I, he has set a record. This is a DiMaggio-like record that may never be broken. Think about this. When there's so much money in the game that coaches won't have, you know, the, uh, the will to go this long to try to win the championships. It's going to be so much harder in the expanded playoff to put together seven seven national championships. Look, his career at Alabama spans the end of the BCS and the end of the CFP, and he's done it in both places, which is equally amazing, if not more. So the greatest the greatest coach in team sports, I believe, at least in the amateur level, the college level of all time. His last title coming in 2020 against Ohio State. And Dennis, I've got a, a few more follow-ups and then looking back at the totality, of course, of Nick Saban's career, but I actually don't want to go you know, farther back than maybe even, you know, a week, a week, a half ago, because you were in Pasadena, you were at the Rose Bowl when Michigan beat Alabama. Did you, and, and you were with Josh Pate, th thinking about any rumblings that Nick Saban, win or lose, was going to maybe come to this decision? Not only that, Tommy, I wrote the story. I'll send you the link. Um, I speculated, based on informed reporting, that one of these coaches, Jim Harbaugh or Nick Saban, this could be their walk-off either that game, the Rose Bowl, or the playoff that they have gotten to the championship game. That still might be the case for Jim Harbaugh, but for completely different reasons. Jim Harbaugh is entertaining uh, you know, NFL offers. He's got the NCAA breathing down his back, self-inflicted, obviously. Nick Saban, this kind of bubbled up about five weeks ago, and it was a general vibe. that People were calling me, people were texting me, hey, you hear about Nick, nothing actionable, but we, we think this might be it. And I talked to some Alabama players at, uh, at the Rose Bowl Media Day, and, and they, they had heard it. They had heard these whispers, um, and they could not blame him if he did. They didn't want it to happen, but the word was out there. Is that the best way to put it? You know what I mean? Um, that this was going to be it, that he had done enough. Um, the people that didn't think he was going to do it, you know, says, well, he doesn't really play golf. He's not one of those guys. He plays, but he's not a golfer. Um, you know, all he do is sit around and, uh, you know, with Miss Terry and, and make appearances. Well, you know, they've got a couple of foundations. Um, and obviously, look, at 72 years old, he became a head coach, what, 1990? We're talking about what now, 33, 34 years? That it's probably time. And I, I will tell you what he told me a few years ago. And this is going to be the lead to my column. He confided in me out of nowhere, really, Tom. He said, can you imagine? We one day went eight and four, and I thought that revealed tons about him, that he wouldn't, didn't want to slip into mediocrity. He didn't want to be that Willie Mays batting 172 for the Mets. He didn't want to be Bill Belichick, where Bill Belichick is now, um, below 500 and done nothing since Tom Brady. Uh, I, think it's, I, I think he wanted to go out on top, and that's what he was saying, and that's absolutely what he's done with set with seven championships six at alabama it started in 2003 at lsu when god tommy let's let's remember they took the alabama job and a couple of days before he said he was absolutely not taking it remember rich rod had the job for a week i think it was about a week and then he turned it down 
And Nick Saban, think about this, was a second choice at Alabama. I think things worked out. Oh, they certainly did, obviously. Also with him flirting with the NFL, that's another story, too, as we look at the totality yep. of Nick Saban's career. Uh, people are going to, as they learn about this, either on TV or on social media, about the news that Nick Saban is leaving Tuscaloosa and Alabama. Then everyone's next thoughts are going to be, what is next for the Crimson Tide? To the best of your understanding, or even just a, an opinionated guess here, where do they go from here, Dennis? Well, I know Dabo Sweeney wants it. Uh, he definitely wants it now. It's, you know, it's a case of will he get it? I don't know where the, you know, the heads are at of the people that are going to make the decision. Do they go? I think one of the first calls you've got to make is the Dan Lanning at Oregon, who absolutely could not be blamed if he left after what, what is it, one or two years at, the, at Oregon and go back to Alabama where he was a GA. He worked under Kirby, won a national championship at Georgia, the defensive coordinator, knows how to coach and recruit in the SEC at the highest level. I think you got to give a call to Kalen DeVore, who came within you know a game of winning a national championship in his second year in the Power Five. Um, so I think those three, uh, I think out of those three, you're going to get your next coach at Alabama. They're not going to have to go down the list, I think is my point. Our Dennis Dodd reacting to Nick Saban and the big news coming out of Tuscaloosa today. Dennis, thank you for joining us here on HQ Spotlight with your insight and information. Again, go check out that article that Dennis wrote on CBSSports.com. Most wins by a head coach in Division One. You know, Saban's got those titles. Does have three guys ahead of him in the win department. Joe Paterno, north of 400. Bobby Bowden with 357. I mentioned Bear Bryant with his six national championships does have more wins than Nick Saban at 323. Well, we continue this breaking news here on HQ, an absolute bombshell in the world of college football. The greatest college football coach of all time, Nick Saban, retiring. So much to break down here. We have two college football experts, an Alabama expert joining us next.